welcome back to Wendy's Colouring and today, yay, you're finally, <laughs> I've been wanting to do an order from Aladdin for, for a while now <laughs> and I have done an order from Aladdin for quite a while but could I get it to go through, mm, no, fail, so I'm on Mac, obviously the lovely um, Shell's Colouring Journal did a great video on how to negotiate the Aladdin website, the Korean bookshop. I'll link it below and obviously nip over to her if you want to know how to do it because it was all on Shelly. It's all Shelly's fault that I have this big pile of books. No, not really. I'm greatly appreciative. I do, obviously, I ha already have quite a few Korean books. I used to buy Korean books quite regularly um, from Book Depository and yeah, quite enjoyed just getting random books that I had no idea whether they were going to be my cup of tea or not and got some great books. My Vintage Room, that was a complete blind buy off off um, Book Depository. I just thought that looks interesting. I'm going to have it. So I already have quite a few Korean books, but I have missed this year buying Korean books. Um, so yeah, I've obviously been to Aladdin. Um, I'm on Mac computer wise and yeah it just would not check out <laughs> for me yeah I got all the way to the ends to the yeah select by went through PayPal because obviously that's safer particularly when you're on a website that you don't really understand very well um but yeah my PayPal fa payment just constantly failed it looked fine on PayPal no problems on PayPal but yeah when it got back to the Aladdin payment failed every time and I've had a month of that, payment failed, and I was like, oh, I just don't get it. So, the answer for me was to use another browser. So I was on Safari on Mac, did it on Chrome, went through first time. How annoying. But it did mean that there was no easy way of transferring what I had in my basket on Safari to my basket on Chrome, because obviously I'm in the process of setting up the account so you couldn't save it. <sighs> anyway, I got there... <laughs> And they came in pretty quick order, considering the distance. I think it took about a week for it to, to get to me here in the UK. Um, and yeah, got some lovely Korean books that I thought I'd go through. So there's a few that I've had my eye on. There's a few that I've no doubt you're sick to death seeing, because a lot of people have bought them. But I do have, because you know me, I do have slightly more unusual tastes. I like buying the odd strange book here and there. So I have got a couple of more unusual ones. And this one I've not seen about very much. Look at the cover. Can you see the lovely, it's like embossed, clear embossed snowflakes all over the front cover and all over the back cover look look how pretty it is look how pretty the back cover is just makes me want to color in just looking at that cover love this um so this is the snow queen i have been through and tried to translate so the snow queen coloring book which i think we probably figured out together anyway fairy tale coloring book by again pronunciation i apologize apologize because i'm not even going to go there she says and then about to try and pronounce it wrong Jayantly. probably wrong anyway this book is lovely i think it's really pretty front cover and i've been seeing it for a while this is an older book it's not a new book but it's one that i've kept seeing popped up here and there so i did want to have a go at it i think my initial impressions having had a bit of a look through is undoubtedly this is quite a tough book to colour. There are some beautiful pages in it, but it is not easy. Like, look at the little detail just in that little mirror frame. It's pretty, but yeah, it's going to be hard just to get in, I think, in some of these little areas. So, um, yeah, perhaps not the easiest of um, colouring books, but is beautiful again down to easiness am i gonna cover this kind of shattered thing in probably not because it's very confusing um yeah like i say there's some pages i really like and then a good chunk that i'm like i'm never gonna color that page in that shattered page it's not getting done though i quite like these little gloves and this kind of pattern and lantern i'm guessing this is a bit of the story that perhaps if we translate it might make more sense. Then we've got, I'm guessing, bits of 
the ice castle from inside maybe I'm not sure again snowflakes probably not but could be interesting this is pretty this is very pretty this is very complicated why is he upside down has he fallen out of the carriage? Who knows? I have no idea what's going on in this book. This is not a story I'm, I know. This I think is lovely, but again, it's quite fine detail. Certainly without my glasses on, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be able to colour it. I'm not sure about these, it's a bit barcode -y. <laughs> But I quite like these little sections. Like you wouldn't have to tackle all this in one go, could you? You could just do a little bit kind of feels like a little bit of small winds here and there could just do a little bit of the border or something like that rather than trying to do it all in one one go but yeah I think this book is harder than I thought it would be looking at the cover undoubtedly but if you like small detail and it, I think it is kind of a story or a fairy tale of some description so um hmm Again, this could be lovely, couldn't it? But I know I will get a bit fed up with doing that. The birds. It's always a food page. See, this carriage, I think, is lovely. But, oh my word. Look how fine that is in the background. Like, what is this in the background? Kind of feels like it's some kind of wallpaper. or I don't know got a little kind of coat of arms things at the top I have wanted to be doing a carriage for a while though and it is very attractive but the background terrifying I suppose I could just paint the background out couldn't I don't have to do these cl weird cloudy patterns maybe that's the answer with some of this book is to literally just paint out some of the bits I don't like because some of the bits I do like and it's quite different to anything else I have. Like, this is a lovely page. If I get my fingers off it so you can actually see. <laughs> this, on the other hand, is a terrifying page. <laughs> oh, my word. See, I'd like to see that done. I'm just not sure I've got the patience to do it. I like this page as well. Again, could be beautiful. And because we've actually got the ice castle and some of the scenery on the front kind of gives me an idea of how to tackle some of it although I think some of it is still quite tricky to understand quite what's going on but I'm guessing it's just mountains isn't it covered in snow and some kind of tree that's got some icicles on here yeah it's not the easiest of um, books I quite like those as well also it could be lovely I even quite like this. I have no idea what this is. Nope. Oh, this is off the back page, isn't it? This is the back page. So I think it was this one that was on the back page. See, these are my colour. I think these are quite nice. And what's the autumn winter? Oh, we've got the girl again looking in the autumn winter one. Again, I'm guessing there's a bit of the story there. But I can't read. I'll hurry up a bit. And then you've got these big sections that you can see each of the pages but with no explanation so I don't really see the point of them another bit of wallpaper I'm guessing some more of the actual story perhaps one day I'll translate it all but I think these must be by the same artist which I haven't got I think there is an Alice in Wonderland one isn't there and Wizard of Oz is it Beauty of the Beast? Beauty and the Beast, I think the bottom one. I am denied about the Alice in Wonderland one because I do have a lot of Alice in Wonderland books, but I thought, no. I'll try the Snow Queen one because it looks so beautiful. And I do quite like it. Next one, I was only worrying about getting this off Etsy for a while when I couldn't get my Aladdin order to get through, but price of the book and price of the postage on Etsy just doesn't make any sense does it like I've paid less postage for this massive pile of books um, on Aladdin than I have just for one book via Etsy so I got this again from Aladdin all of these are from 
Aladdin Garden Lady by, I should know this and it's, I've completely forgotten, Lana Green, <laughs> brain. <laughs> and yeah, it is beautiful, hardback book, beautiful cover. Um, but yeah, you know, I was obviously going to try and support Lana. I have her Amazon one, which isn't an Amazon print book. It's a, a book she sold via Amazon, I think. Um, and that's lovely. I haven't had a chance to colour in that yet, but I was still going to get this one just because I know she's, as an artist, finding it very difficult in this world of AI robots taking over Etsy. She used to make a lot of her business via Etsy, I think, and I think she's finding that very difficult. So, um, obviously, she's an extremely talented lady. And, yeah, I think her work is beautiful. It's a lovely book in the kind of Korean style. So you've got nice little intros. You have the other version on the other side of the page. And then, yeah, some absolutely beautiful portraits. I know this has been about for a little bit of time, so I'm only going to flip quickly. If you want a slower flip, by all means, let me know in the comments. This one, I think it's beautiful. But yeah, there's some really nice portraits in here. I don't think they're all my cup of tea. This one, I think, is beautiful. The hair slightly terrifies me. though. That's a lot of work, but look how beautifully she's done it. And the feathers. Yeah, I think that's a stunning image. There's lots of really beautiful images in here, though. <laughs> Mrs. Pineapple? Oh, that, at least that's what I'm calling her. <laughs> it's a brave choice of clothing. Cute. I think I actually prefer these the further into the book you get. I don't quite know why, but I think, again, this one's just stunning, isn't it? Really beautiful. This one I think is lovely. And this one. <laughs> this one's crazy, but I do like it. This is beautiful, but slightly frightening. I think it is lovely. Also lovely. This entire book's lovely. Then you've got some little objects, which I think is quite a nice little addition. You've got the flowers, sweet fruits, Korean flowers, garden lady, and then that's it at the end. But yeah. It's a nice book. It's not massive. Perhaps we need a ruler is, instead of just guesstimating. There's my ruler. So if you're in inches, just over seven inches by just uh, ten and a half ish. If you're in the UK, we're on 18 centimeters by 26. So yeah, it's quite a nice sized book, I think. It's not too big. Beautiful hardback really nicely made pages look because they're stitched really do open up nice and flat if you're working on them i don't know if i'll always go with the color schemes that she's done but yeah i had to get it it was absolutely beautiful beautiful uh, garden lady by lana green stunning this next one was most definitely uh well it looks lovely but i had no real idea of what was in it so brilliant myth bright fantasy time goddess rest rainbow story coloring book by kim miso this is super thin little book if i just grab lana greens again as a comparison so you can see it is only a little skinny mini book there's not much in it but again it is a hardcover you've got this beautiful gold work on it um, and I think it's basically women from myths is the sum of this book. It is quite a dark print. I think that's the only thing I would say about it. I like what's in here, but it is quite a little thin book. It has got a bit of a spine issue as well. Like, as you can just about see, the print is going into the spine, which is annoying. And that's not going to open any more than that because it's a proper spine. It's not a... A stitch spine like that it's an actual spine so they're nice but this is going to be a bit annoying i think to 
start to work on but i do love the image they kind of feel that they're clearly myths but they kind of have this kind of art nouveau kind of deco cross style about them that i do quite like um obviously it's quite complicated but not so complicated that i kind of find it um a bit scary looking you see what i mean it's very art nouveau isn't it so which this this one sumerian mythology i'm not going to read them all for you today because otherwise we'll be here a while in this video um this is one of the pages i'm not so keen on like what is that some kind of cat lion it's clearly a glass with something again maybe if i read it it'll make more sense but <laughs> i'm at the moment i'm like it's got birds on its eyes i, I don't know what it is I don't know what it is but I do like the women in this book so I'm quite pleased I got it but that weird page is probably not getting done this I also like Greek and Roman mythology she doesn't look very Greek and Roman to me though again nice women weird page Nordic mythology it's obviously some kind of object mm, no idea I'll read it at my leisure you know like that one as well like this one slavic myths, myths what was the one before it indian myths again i'm not sure that i feel the the look of them is what they're saying they are but no i don't care egyptian see i like egyptian she doesn't feel very egyptian none of this feels very egyptian her dress is vaguely Egyptian, but that's about all you can say, is that but I still quite like it. Nordic. I'm not is that Nordic? I don't know. I quite like a her arrangement and all of this. And again, I quite like the garments on them. Strange horse. Greek and Roman. And yet she looks like she's from the nineteen thirties. I don't know. Like this doesn't feel very Greek and Roman. Maybe I'm missing something somewhere. However, I like the look of it regardless. But that's it, that's it. It's very pretty, it's very thin. <laughs> Brilliant myth of bright fantasy time goddess rest. A rainbow story coloring book by Kim Mizo. I like the drawing in it. I'm just it's just quite confusing book, isn't it? This one, again, is a fairly old book. I kind of wish I'd got this off Book Depository before they closed, but I missed it. It was on there for a brief period. This is the Girls and Flowers um, series. I have the first one, I think. I don't think I have the second one. I think this is the third one, yeah. Third, The Language of Flowers with Hearts. Can't read my own writing by... Oh, Yeon Yeon don't know but they are beautiful books i've actually put the um original one of these in my coloring plans pile for next month um i'm not i've not got it in this month but i'm thinking i'd like to start on that one because it is a beautiful book and i, I keep i keep totally forgetting about it because they are quite small they're not huge books as you can see in my hand next to them and they just kind of get pushed between books on the bookcase and lost a little bit and i, I when I saw this one on the website, I thought, oh, I have the other one, and I've not not seen it for a while, and it was kind of jammed between two other books that I couldn't see it, so I fished that one out deliberately. But these, again, are portraits, but they're really beautiful portraits. Quite small, not too complicated, but they feel quite doable um, in terms of what's going on on the pages. Really pretty, obviously, girls with flowers. <laughs> kind of says it in the title doesn't it but yeah I, I really quite like these paper is pretty good it feels very smooth I don't know how much watercolor I think you'd probably get away with watercolor pencils that you're not absolutely flooding the page um, but they're quite small sections so knowing me I'd probably do this mostly in pencil anyway because um, it's quite detailed isn't it in sections how cute I want a big teddy bear you can cuddle up to like that. That's cute. Beautiful. But yeah, really nice. Like I say, it's not a new book. It's been out for some time, but I missed it last time. So 
that's not really helping is it i was thinking it might speed me up in the flipping of this book but i don't think it is um and as you can see quite a lot of pages oh look at that complicated but beautiful love how they've done the stopper on the bottle really pretty then you've got how are these different that is the double that's ahead of it then you've got a double to colour and then we're back to lovely lady in the bottle that's beautiful And then, yeah, we're at the end. This is a little, again, double little flip out, of which I think the original is on this side of it. My husband hates these nutcracker men. <laughs> Thinks they're creepy. <laughs> I quite like colouring them, though. Maybe I'll do that one at Christmas. But, yeah, the third Girls With Flowers book by Yon Yon, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Next one. This one's been around on various people's channels quite a bit. Obviously, Korean. Beautiful book. This I've had my eye on for a long time. But it's a bit tricky to get hold of. Other than via Aladdin, isn't it? A colouring book for a bright day together by Ray Park. Again, I'm not I won't spend ages on it because quite a lot of people have flipped this of late but it is super cute i think i did see a flip through possibly by cool craft books i'm not sure but certainly on one of the coloring shop um preview channels so you have these little colored prints of them at the back that you can actually cut out if you want to i'm not quite sure why you would they're very cute and obviously for a bit of inspiration if you're looking at the pages and you're not quite sure what to do they're handy to have at the back but then you've got it is a seasonal book so you've got winter at the back again they're just it's just super cute isn't it i think that's why everybody's been getting it it's just the quality is so lovely it's quite a small little book kind of a5 style style size maybe a little bit wider than a5 but very much that kind of size and i am enjoying these slightly smaller books at the moment they they're just they feel like they take the pressure off a little bit you can have a bit of fun but it's not taking you like some pages pages i've done this month i've done some nice pages this month i've really enjoyed them but they are taking me so long i just faff about too much with them i think really but I like what I've done, but yeah, speed sometimes can be an issue when you're busy. Just, yeah, something smaller like this just means you can get through a page a bit quicker. And these are so cute, fun little pages. Like, this is lovely, isn't it? Like a little Christmas fair. They've gone shopping. Look at my new hat. Oh, it's lovely, Dory. <laughs> just really cute i just yeah they just make me smile and you know me i like a book that makes me smile and this undoubtedly does i think this is just really beautiful book it's beautifully made the color prints are so lovely the drawings are fun oh we've got a little bit of color on that page already in we've already got the sky and the sea kind of printed but lighter than this side I didn't know it did that. I think that's the only page that does that, or certainly the only one I've come across. Some dog teddy bear type thing with all his clothes. <laughs> but yeah, it's super cute. I like it a lot. Colour book for a bright day together by Rainy Park. Very cute. Speaking of cute, again, another one that's been around a little bit this year. I've seen it again on quite a few people's channels. It's beautiful. It's little. It's only a diddy one. Hello, Forest Friends. Colouring book by Joe Borum. Again, it's been about quite a bit. I think these are published by the same people. Yeah, they are. Look, they've got this little same symbol on and they are pretty much 
the same size so it's the same kind of format as you're looking through the back this time you have the colored things like the one we've just looked at so you've got some little examples the greens are very heavy i've noticed on the printed ones of these Ugh, i can't pick them up this is the trouble it's little but it is quite quite a thick little book again it's just it's fighting back i want to flip it but it won't <laughs> But they are, again, just really cute. Cute little pictures. Again, there's lots of people flipped this one of late. But look at that. That's so lovely. Cozy. Yeah, these books actually make me want it to be winter so I could do some of these pages because they just look so lovely and cozy. Look. And they're just very doable pictures, aren't they? They're not too difficult. The size makes them a real win. This one's got the little tabs on the side. So as you can see, I've just flipped into autumn, but you've got autumn, summer, spring in the sections. That's bizarrely in English. I don't understand why they do that quite often. Whether it's um, deliberate, I don't know. But yeah, we've got Korean telling you the title, but then we've got are we still in autumn? Yeah, autumn on the side in English. I just, I don't get why they do that. Does anybody know why they do that? Look at that. That is just so cute. That's all I'm going to say with this book <laughs> all the way through because I just can't help myself. That's lovely as well. Is he sleeping on a tea bag in a in a cup of tea? Hmm. <laughs> okay at least be warm for a while the baker badgery see that's the same as the baker badgery <laughs> can't speak where's it gone badger bakery even <laughs> if i don't put the sentence backwards that might help mine it oh dear crazy brain <laughs> cheeky postman Yeah, it's, it's a lovely book. Again, delighted to have got this, really. <laughs> After quite a battle to get it. It is a very beautiful book. Hello, Forest Friends colouring book by Jo Borum. Very cute. Another one that's been about quite a bit is this one. It has, again, as you can see, beautiful, excuse my lights, that causing glare, but as you can see, it's just beautiful cover. The colours really intense. And then it has the kind of, it's, it's only laminated over where the colour is. So the sky is quite matte, but all this colour work has got kind of a glaze print over it and the star flakes. It's very clever printing. It's just that extra little bit of effort with some of these books, isn't it? Just attention to detail of how they're printing them and how it's made. Just, it, yeah, it doesn't surprise me at all that I've missed getting Korean books because they are just works of art in their own right. Midwinter Sunshine Coloring Book by Jeon Jeon Jin. Again, I won't do every page because a lot of these have been about quite a bit because I'm late to the Aladdin party, I know. But beautifully cute. Seasonal again. So you kind of have winter at the back. And then we're going into different seasons. Kind of feels a bit mixed up, actually, now I'm looking at it. Or is this one all winter? I think this is all winter, isn't it? I'm talking rubbish. Um, but I, get, I think when I was looking through this one, I kind of felt like it is winter, but it's not too Christmassy. Like, there are, obviously, Christmas pages in here. But there's plenty in here that's just kind of winter season. It didn't have to be just presents-based. Um, like that's a really nice kind of winter could be January, could be December just thought there's there's quite a lot in here like my magnolia in the back does start flowering pretty early um, February time so like I thought there was quite a nice mix of here of kind of winter based imagery but again really cute this one obviously is a little bit bigger than the last two that I've been looking at paper is a little bit thinner I think on this but again super smooth certainly not see-through or anything like that but 
I think it'd take watercolour pencils fine, but I'm not sure I'd flood it with an actual watercolour palette. But beautiful book. Midsummer Sunshine Colouring Book by Gion Gion Jin. Then this one I've been um and on about for a while and I wasn't totally sure about it. I think it's the Blythe Dolls colouring book, isn't it? But when I translated it, that's not what they're calling it. Healing Time Every Day with a Lovely Doll. Coloured Pencil Doll Colouring Book by someone I'm not even going to even attempt to pronounce because that's just too difficult. Might need to just zoom out a notch, might we, just so you get it all in. But not that much. There we go, that's better. Um, this is, again, a big book. It's quite chunky. It's, as you can see, because I've had to zoom out, much bigger than all of the books that I've just been looking at. It is a good, mm, well, 11 inches plus for an idea on size. Um, but again, I, was, I wasn't sure about this book, but I keep seeing it and I keep like, um, do I want that book? Do I not? I do have a few doll colouring books already. And I thought it does kind of go with got a, what I've got already. As you can see, I can get this to start opening properly. It has like a little uh, overview of the slides. I'm guessing that's the names. And I think it's giving you the page numbers of which these dolls are on. Which there's quite a few because it is quite a thick book. Then you've got some examples of how they've gone about colouring it. I quite like it. It's a little bit different. I quite ha I love a bit of colour, don't I? Let's be honest. And I do like how vivid and colourful these are. And then you have quite bright pattern work behind some of them, not all of them. Print is beautiful, as you can see. It gives you the usual uh, overview. The colour swatches in this are in um, Prismacolor. So um, if you're wanting to colour, you will have on each of the pictures um, a swatch. I don't know why they've printed all the Prismacolor colours, but they have. And as you can see, the layout is it actually gives you the swatches that they're saying they've used when they've done the coloured examples. So when you come to an actual page, as you can see, this is your actual colouring pages. So you get your example. It gives you a little kind of tutorial of how they've coloured a particular item that she's using. And then it gives you the colour swatches and numbers. They've numbered each of them inside the little circles. I don't know how well you can see that. There you go. So you can see they've actually put in the Prismacolor numbers that they've used in the little colour sections. So you can kind of figure out, okay, this section is a her. This section is going to be, well, it looks like some of the flowers, doesn't it, I think? Or is it the butterflies? Might be the butterflies, but in the main, you can kind of see, okay, if it's brownish, that's the colour palette. If it's purplish, that's the colour palette. That must be a little shoes, mustn't it? I don't know if I'll stick to them personally. I might just do them any way I want to. But it's quite nice if you want the suggestions and you want to use the colours that they've used. You've got them on each page. And like I say, you've got a little tutorial for how they've done something in each of the pages. I'm not sure they're entirely useful, to be honest, but <laughs> you never know. I think that's quite a useful one. It shows you how it's building up the texture in the skirt so that you're drawing the lines in, you're starting to add a bit of shading and building it up. Um, possibly if you translated does that as well and it's actually showing you which colour you've used on each of the sections. So they've started with 956, then they've gone a bit more with 956, then they've done some 938 and they've finished off with 1008. So I, kind of, I think that kind of thing is useful. Just colouring in the flowers, not so useful, but, you know, that one also looks useful, showing you how they build up the texture in her jacket. Um, and obviously, you can ignore it if you want to and just do it however you like, but there are those little um, helpful hints at the top just to help you. Like, it might have been nice to have done a hair tutorial on that one, wouldn't it, because she's got particularly textured hair that's got quite a lot going on. But they didn't. They chose the little teddy bear. Chickens out on that one. Part two. Oop. I flipped through the rest a bit quicker now. but Because I'm sure you get the idea of how it works. Oh, quite like that hair combo. 
green with blue with some yellow. Interesting. Orange hair. Yeah, the colours in particular, I quite like some of the ideas in the colour work. I like this little light textured jackets and things like that. In fact, they've picked the textured jacket to show you. It's just the odd thing that I think, oh, actually, that's quite useful. Like, they have done her, her this time. Look, they've got the whole example of how they've done basically the top section of her, her haven't they? They've, they've shown you the fringe. They've not shown you the sides. Glasses. Could have put a bit of reflection in the glasses. It's a bit lazy. <laughs> Flowers, again, could be useful. Her textured skirt. But as you see, there's a lot going on. This is quite a nice little example with her glasses. They've showed you how to put the tone in and the reflection in the frames. Is that her skirt? Yeah, there's parts of her skirt that they've shown. Again, could have done a nice example of her there, but no. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing. And so on. I'm sure you get the gist. We'll quickly flip the last few just so you can have a quick peek at them. But we'll be here all day otherwise with this book because it's so thick. Oops. And then at the back we have got a few other bits and pieces that I'll quickly show you if I can get hold of them. So you've got some printed bits. Oh, the book's fighting back. You've got some printed bits quite pretty but you could cut out and use as a postcard I personally wouldn't but they are great little colour examples if you want better printed um, colour the colour looks a bit more vivid on there then you've got a little bit of a test sheet that you can do a swatch if you want or you can try particular materials on it it's the same paper as is in the book and it looks like they've mm, they've got these other books available which I haven't looked at but yeah, a book that I'm going to call the Blythe colouring book because I think that's what they are. I think they're Blythe dolls, aren't they? But they are calling Healing Time Every Day with their lovely doll by Si Young. Oh, I'm not even going <laughs> to. Sorry. <laughs> I, I've no idea. Bye then. <laughs> then another one that's been about a lot. I think there's a few of these little Desert Fox books, isn't it? They are, again, really beautiful. Quite a chunky book. Not a massive book beautifully made they have this kind of where the color is it has this kind of glitter glaze over the top that's really quite pretty but it's only where the colored section in the book is and it's not on the little fox there it is back on the title and then you've got a little view at the back again i won't spend time on it for ages because i know a lot of people have picked this one up this one, again, really beautiful, cute little character. I think I'm probably only going to get this one unless I surprise myself and do a lot of these quite quickly. Can't personally see it, but there's some really lovely pages. Beautiful inspiration, full colour print on the other side. Obviously, you're not going to be able to use an alcohol marker unless you completely sacrifice the back print of the next one personal choice isn't it I personally wouldn't I'll probably do it in coloured you might get away with a bit of watercolour marker it's quite smooth paper but yeah I love these little houses in weird objects although that would be a very smelly house these stink don't they I think this is one of those smells you either love or hate I, I'm afraid I'm in the hater I think someone did buy me at once it looked beautiful but it had to go outside because oh, the smell <laughs> She couldn't abide it. <laughs> but they look so pretty. They're fine outside. <laughs> yeah. They're not for me, those plants. I can't think what they're called now. It's gone out of my head. Pretty but stinky. But again, really lovely. I think this is the winterish one, isn't it? Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Oh, they've got a London page there. Is it raining? Yes. <laughs> It does, doesn't rain all the time, you know. I'm saying that, but this week's been dreadful for rain this week. Literally, Tuesday, it rained all day and all night. And Wednesday was pretty much the same. It was over, over rain by Thursday this week. 
but this is a lovely nice kind of orange sky isn't it and the reflections are quite nice I notice it's dry in New York <laughs> the rain is only on the British page <laughs> it's not far wrong at the moment it's not great weather teapot yay teapot house <laughs> are these like croissant cars <laughs> donut cars this I like <laughs> This book is funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why has it got a face on it? <laughs> Couldn't eat it if it's got a face on it, could you? Like, <laughs> It's craziness. But yeah, it's pretty. It's cute. It's a bit silly. It's very good quality. It even has the little uh, book flap thing that I've never really seen the point of, really. But yes, what's it called? Desert Fox Mysterious Travel Colouring Book. Yes, yeah, not a winter book rent. Talking rubbish. I get them all mixed up, that's why, in my head. Then, another book that I wished I'd got a while ago. I think I have seen this pop up occasionally on Amazon, but I've definitely seen it on Book Depository, and I, I always kind of had other ones in my cart, so I never got this one. But this is Pandora, which is by... Oh, here we go. <laughs> it seemed to be... I think the illustrator is Seong Jiong Jin. And I think this is the person that's written the story or altered the story. Um, but I think that this is the illustrator. But it's Pandora anyway. Again, it's not a new book. It's been a while, around a while. I can't talk today. I don't know why I even attempted to do a video today. Because my mouth will not coordinate with my brain. Apologies if I've said a load of rubbish through this video. My brain doesn't seem to be working. It's been a hard month. <laughs> but yeah, this is another really pretty book. I think it's Alice in Wonderland. I suspect they changed it a little bit, called it something else. But it kind of, it feels very Alice in Wonderland-ish, doesn't it? But there's other bits in it, I think, is the idea. But obviously we've got white rabbits. We've got playing cards. We've got beautiful uh, girl fishes. It's, yeah, I really like some of this. It's very detailed. It's not going to be an easy book to colour, but it is very pretty. There's a lot of space as well. I'm kind of like, oh, what am I doing over here? I have no idea. Bit of ink. <laughs> I think it's what's going on there. But I really do like some of the drawing and the style of the drawing is very pretty. Like, you're just looking at him. Just really lovely, really nicely drawn. Various different drink me bottles. Just trying to persuade it open a bit because it's going to need to be, isn't it, for this to be coloured. A little birdie on the bottle. We've got a teapot. Oh, it's a hand. I wasn't sure what that was. Now I get it. I haven't got my glasses on, can you tell? <laughs> Uh, she's in the house but yeah just it it's visually it looks a bit different from all of the Alice books that I have it's very prettily drawn just yeah it did interest me a lot flamingos so this could be a nice page as well isn't it but again you've still got quite a lot of space so going to take a bit of thought I think some of these on how to tackle some of the pages teapots cute pig with hearts on and what is that with a little face it's like a mushroom monster or something <laughs> look at him <laughs> yeah there's some weird things this page I really like teapot clocks yes with random creatures inside, like seagull head. <laughs> a little mouse. Mushroom teapot house. Again, liking it. And then I think we're into the actual story. And then you've got the plates at the back with the titles on, I'm thinking. 
Then we've got a drawing page, so you can do a bit of testing of your mediums, of what might actually work on this paper. The paper, if I get, get an actual proper page, I can't separate them too. Paper is, yeah, it's reasonably thick. It's quite smooth. Again, I think you'd be fine with watercolour pencils. I think you're going to cause a problem if you put too much actual raw watercolour onto your book and flood a page. I don't think it'll take that much because it is you know, quite a soft book. It's not the thickest of paper. I think it's designed for colour pencils. You'd probably get away with fine line or something like that, but it may go through. Not sure. But Pandora by Seo Young Yin. Again, it's not new, but it is a book I've wanted. And finally, a book that was in and out of my book depository shopping cart all the time. And I kind of pictured this as much smaller, but I finally had it in a basket and kept it in a basket. Um, yeah, Bunny Girl by Kim Young Suk. Secret friends who give happiness, bunny girl coloring book or rabbit coloring book, people call it different things, but again, it's not a new book. It's a much older book. You've got at the back, there's uh, the overview of the double pages. So there are some doubles in here and these are all of them that go across. It's actually quite a big book, this. It's much bigger than I thought. And as you can see, the doubles are pretty big doubles. So this is a Christmas one that kind of gives you the whole of the bunny house with all the Christmas goings on, going on in all the spaces. I just think this is lovely, really beautiful. What are they calling it? Special gift for you dream factory. It's a factory, it's not a house, Wendy, I was wrong. Um, rabbit of the rabbit, okay is a little lovely elf no idea what that means <laughs> it doesn't make much sense does it but there are some really beautiful pages in this book it's quite bizarre it's very silly paper is pretty good but it does feel a bit strange yeah but it's quite thick again i'd, I'd be careful if it was you were watercoloring into it but it's quite fun i think you have to like coloring bunnies <laughs> to get this book which I think is what's put me off buying it for all this time really but I'm kind of now I'm seeing it in real life I'm really glad I have got it because it's just daft and as you see a good chunk of it is kind of one-sided you have that kind of wallpapery thing going on on the back but you could just sacrifice that for, for these um, sections music is my life beautiful harmonious Missed one. It's gone quicker and quicker now. I know a few people have flipped it lately, so I'm kind of I don't wish to waste your time. Well, you could fast forward me obviously <laughs> and yeah that's pretty much it that is my haul of books that I have been buying up over quite a long time from Aladdin but I finally got over my technical problems of ordering um yeah I mean price wise yes this wasn't cheap this was a reasonably expensive haul of books but, like I say, there's some books in here I've been eyeing at for quite a many years because there's some quite older books in here. Um, I wouldn't order from them every week, but I think when you've got some books that you really like, the service was impeccable, can't knock them at all. Clearly, I was having some Safari technical issues. Something wasn't working right on Safari for me because it went through straight away as soon as I went on Chrome. So it wasn't them. It was purely me. Um, thanks obviously to Shelley for giving us the knowledge to be able to order from this lovely shop they have a really beautiful selection they have a lot of stock of books in some quite unusual books as you can see I've picked a few older ones out they still have the stock of them 
Um, sadly, they did not have my vintage room. I'm not seeing it anywhere, which is one of the reasons I've not been colouring it lately, because I know people can't get it. I haven't seen it anywhere, but it is one of my most favourite Korean books. At some point this year, I'm going to do a all my books set of videos, and I will do all my Korean books, because I do have a few Korean books and Japanese books. Um, they are some of my favourite books, because they're just so beautiful in their own right. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, much appreciated. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll put a link to Aladdin and to the lovely Shelley below. Bye-bye.